in bocca, means jump in the mouth, salt in bocca, they must be eaten quickly and hot, so that that's why they jump in your mouth. Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Uh, today we are going to prepare salt in bocca. Salt in bocca non alla romana, not alla romana, because we are not going to use veal, but we are using pork. Um, we don't cook with veal um, in our family traditionally. But a friend of ours who had got a restaurant suggested that this recipe works very well with pork. He's also from Rome, so he kind of got certain authority on the subject. So what we need, uh, our ingredients are, first of all, we need pork. And prosciutto. Flour. Butter. I divide the butter in two pieces, one big lump and a small lump, and I'll tell you why we need two different lumps. Uh, salt and pepper to season. Uh, a glass of white wine. Some water. Olive oil. Sage. And most important, we need tools. We need a pair of scissors here. We need two sticks. We need a board, because we could work the meat on the top of this board. And we need a meat tenderizer. This is one we have in Italy, we call it a batticarne. And if you don't have it, uh, you can use a wooden spoon on the flat side. And uh, if the meat is too thick, you can use the, uh, the side to make it more kind of, uh, uh, to break the fibers if you need to do so. Okay, let's get started. This is a slice of pork. The first thing I do, I remove the fat outside here. Number one. The reason I remove the, remove the fat is not only for the fat, but also because this part of the uh, around the slice of meat uh, um, tends to make the, the slice curly when we cook it. So the second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some cuts on the side here. Uh, pork. This is a uh, um, arista. What is arista exactly? Arista is a boneless pork loin, and uh, in this case, uh, it is uh, thinly sliced. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to put some flour on this plate, and I'm going to flatten this uh, slice of pork. If it is too thick, this is quite okay, but if it is too thick, we can actually use the, the, the side to break the fibers. You say the fibers? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Now we get uh, sage. One, two leaves. And we are going to put the prosciutto. So I get a slice of prosciutto on the top of the meat here. The other slice here. I'm going to put the sage here, the other leaf here. And with a toothpick, this is falling, so we got to get rid of it. I'm going to pierce the sage, the prosciutto and the pork. And I'm going to make this thing here to 
tie the three things together. You can see the other side is like that. This one. And that's the other one here. Uh, now I'm going to put the, uh, the pork um, in the flour and I flour them just on one side. Like this and like this. The side without the sage? The side without the sage, yes. Like that. Okay, set aside. I'm going to put some olive oil, not very much, probably half a tablespoon. Low heat. And I'm going to add the butter, the first bit of butter, keeping the other one for later. Now we want to melt the butter with the olive oil. So is it quite a Roman thing to put butter with olive oil? Well, there are so many, but in Rome they tend to use uh, olive oil, but uh, some recipes they use butter. Some people don't even use olive oil in this recipe. They just use butter directly there. But I add a bit of olive oil, many people add a bit of olive oil, because uh, as I said in a previous video, uh, it um, doesn't allow to, the butter to smoke, which is not very good. So it controls the butter. Uh, the smoking point of the butter. Now it is sizzling and we are going to um, start cooking the salt in bocca. Starting from the side without the prosciutto. So we are not medium heat now. Um, I prefer some salt, but uh, salt is a tricky thing because if the prosciutto is very salty, you don't need to use any uh, salt. Uh, if the prosciutto is uh, Parma or San Daniele, which is uh, very sweet, you might need to add uh, a tiny bit of salt. Now on a low heat. And now we turn them over. And if you like it, you can add some ground pepper. Okay, now I turn them over. I'm going to add a glass of white wine. Turn it to wait for a minute until the wine evaporates. The alcohol evaporates more than the wine because the liquid is going to be part of the um, sauce that will cover at the end. After I've been uh, setting aside the pork, I'm going to add some butter. And I'm going to reuse it. We are on a low heat now. The sauce is ready. I took the gas off. And I'm going to cover the salt in bocca with the sauce. And they're ready. Do you want to try them, Celia? I'm very happy to try them. So Anzo's made a, a terrible social faux pas here. You should remove the toothpicks or stuzzi cadenti before you, you serve them. And uh, on television programs, 
uh, a lot of people lose marks for exactly this but I lost so many marks in my life. I can always have them with a the toothpick and everybody can have themselves in the plate. <laughs> Just hope they don't. Oh. Anyway. Delicious and perfect with a glass of wine. And red, I think, in winter and white for a summer day. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. And I think I'd serve this with um, a green salad or a tomato salad and greens in the winter and potatoes if you wanted to have a big meal. Mm. One thing I have to say about the salt in bocca, that also then it means a jump in the mouth, salt in bocca, it is because they must be eaten quickly and hot, so that, that's why they jump in your mouth. So it is a quick um, meat dish, it can be cooked really in minutes, very tasty, and it jumps in your mouth. So perfect for a kitchen dinner party. Fantastic. Or a family meal. Buon appetito. I want my slice now. Buon appetito a tutti. Right, sweetie. <laughs> it's passeggiata time. It's passeggiata time. Um, I've been painting all day and it tells me I've still got paint on my face. <laughs> That's your new makeup. A white spot. <laughs> and I forgot to put any makeup on, which is really uh, bad when you're walking around like a, a passage out of time but I shall rise above it all yeah. and um, we'll take you just for a little wander around the streets we're in Piazza officially San Salvatore but no one else it's called the Piazza della Pucorona and why? and why? because the statue here has got a breast on display and so what does Puparone mean? A big breast. <laughs> in a park, in a local uh, language, in this way. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful fountain and the water from this fountain is famous for its qualities. Yeah, it is pure, there is no chlorine and uh, we get it and we didn't get it at home. Everybody comes and gets water here. Let's go for a walk. Let's just have a wander. It's still very, very hot. Though we did have a bit of rain this morning to just cool things down a bit. Yeah, we woke up that uh, it was bearable. <laughs> the sound of rain was beautiful. for olive tree.
By the way, all these sculptures are made of, well, except for the marble one, of course, of paper. wood, but these are paper. Paper. Same front as Peter Lark, somewhere else. After being down, taking a passage out through all those busy piazzas, shall we have a bit of peace and sit on the bench in front of Palazzo Fanna? Yes. That's Palazzo Fanna. The sun is going down and it's time to break. And we can have supper for this time. What are we having for supper tonight? I have no idea. Bruschetta. A bruschetta. Not bruschetta. No, no, no. Don't even say that word. <laughs> Am I faint? <laughs> Andiamo. Andiamo. Fold it up and put in a piece of pasta. <laughs> And then we want a book of Lisa Biondi, a famous uh, Italian uh, food writer, etiquette writer of many, many, many years ago. It's never been opened, is it? No, so. Pesca di beneficenza. Which basically is a lucky dip. Yes. And we've got a recipe book, how very appropriate. Very good. And a plate. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.